I'm Eddie Feldman. <laughs> Well, hi, I'm Lucy. <laughs> Here. For me? Unless you want me to wear it. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eddie. They're beautiful. <laughs> you know something? I don't think you look like Dean at all. <laughs> I don't? Well, you look like him, but, you know, not as old. <laughs> I guess that's because he dissipates. I understand he drinks pretty good. Oh, well, Dean's drinking. That's all exaggerated. He it... takes a few belts now and then just to keep up his image as a swinger, you know. Oh. It's just a gimmick. Actually, he doesn't care for the stuff. He doesn't? No, but I'd like a little sauce if he got some. <laughs> I don't usually, but in as much as I was having company, I, I did mix a couple of martinis. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> there we are. Thank you. It's my first one today. Me too. With my left hand. <laughs> Hope you like martinis. Oh, I do. I <laughs> sure do. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> you know, I didn't have any vermouth, so I put in just a dash of lemon juice. That's great. <laughs> Something else, I didn't have any gin, so I used some white cooking wine. Cooking wine? <laughs> yeah, sauterne. Sauterne. What do you use for olives? Oh, these are real olives. Oh, that makes a good drink. No. <laughs> Would you like another one? I don't think so. <laughs> one of these is about all I can handle. <laughs> I couldn't handle another one of these either. You know, I like men who don't care too much about drinking. So do I. It leaves more for the poor devils that really need it. <laughs> you know, when you talk, you sure sound like him. Well, that's all part of my job. Part of your job? I didn't know to double for someone that you had to sound like them, too. Well, sometimes they use me to dub in lines for Dean, you know, like when he gets hoarse from playing golf. <laughs> hoarse from playing golf? Yeah, well, he screams when he loses. <laughs> He's a great competitor. Uh, uh, Mary Jane tells me that you once had a very successful career of your own, Eddie. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago. Uh-huh. Well, she said you were on the Broadway stage and, and were quite a success, and then you came out here for your own acting career. Yeah, but when I got out here, they said I looked too much like Dean Martin. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's terrible. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm better off. I, it's been 10 years of steady work, and I'm working for a real nice guy. <laughs> Well, you're very nice to say that he's nice. Why? Well, after the way he's ruined your career, I should think that you'd resent him. Well, he's a hard guy not to like. <laughs> well, why shouldn't he be nice? Look how lucky he's been. Lucky? Yeah. Lucky? Yeah, you know, when I first saw Dean, he was working with Jerry. Jerry who? <laughs> remember him. Yeah. Yeah. And then when they split up, uh, frankly, I was worried about Dean. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to make it. Oh, neither did I. <laughs> yes, I was very worried about him. So was I. My whole family was worried about him. <laughs> oh, are your family Dean Martin fans, too? Well, not as much as they used to be. <laughs> But they do like to see him, you know, do good. Yeah, well, I can understand that, of course. Mm -hmm. I, uh, 
Oh, dear. Hmm? I hope all my chattering isn't going to make us late for the ball. Oh, no, we have plenty of time. <laughs> we don't want to be the first ones there. Are you kidding? At $100 a ticket, I don't want to miss a minute. <laughs> Would you uh, be so kind, Eddie? Why, certainly. Thank you. Oh, Eddie, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Well, I guess we're ready. Thank you. 